In the previous video, we set up a workspace for the HR department with the requisitions and candidate tabs. When a hiring manager makes a requisition, it goes to the CEO for approval. After that, it goes to the HR department. In this video, I will create a process associated with the requisitions app. To add the process, I will go to the app menu and select business processes. I will name the process Requisition and Candidate Selection. I will start by adding participants. You can see that there already is a dynamic swim lane on the process diagram. That is the initiator swim lane. It stores the user who created the requisition, which now needs to be processed. I will rename it to Hiring Manager. Next, I need to add a static swim lane where I will choose the CEO item from the organization chart. So, after a new requisition is created, it will be sent from the hiring manager to the CEO for approval. Now, I will add another static swim lane for the head of the HR department. This person will assign requisitions to HR specialists. Next, I need to add a dynamic swim lane for the person assigned by the head of the HR department on the previous step. So here, I will need to use a context variable. Let's name it HR Specialist. Now, let's start modeling the actual process. When the hiring manager creates the requisition, it must be approved by the CEO. So let's place a task activity in the CEO swim lane. I will change the default name to Approve Requisition. I want to set up a template for naming the task. This is the name that the CEO will see in the interface once assigned with the task. Now let's set up the task. I will add the requisition property to the form. This means that the CEO will see a link to the requisition when he or she opens the task. If we want to display more information, instead of displaying just the requisition link, we will need to add more properties to the form. After adding the properties that I need, I will make them read-only. Also, I will add the comment field. If the CEO declines the requisition, we want to notify the hiring manager about it and terminate the process. For that, I will add a notification to the hiring manager swim lane. In the settings, I will add templates for the subject and the message of the notification. You can see here that the default sender is the current user. This means that the message will be sent on behalf of the CEO. Now, let's move to the associated object field. Here, I will select the requisition context variable. This means that the notification will be added to the activity stream of the requisition. In the same way, I will set up the notification sent when the requisition is approved. I will place it in the swim lane of the head of HR. I will also add the process initiator, that is the hiring manager, to the list of recipients. So, at this point, the head of HR must assign the requisition to someone in their department. Let's create a task for that and set up its form. I will add all the requisition fields to the form and make them read-only. Also, I will mark the HR specialist field as required. Now, this employee must receive a task to pass the job opening. So, I will add a task activity to the process diagram, add all the necessary fields and make them read-only. Once the job is posted, we want the HR to receive a new task, to submit a new candidate. This means that the HR specialist will have to add a new item to the candidate tab. To add this logic to our process, I will use the create app item block. This block creates a new app item right in the course of the process. I will name it submit new candidate. Now, I will add a new variable of the app type. I will name it Candidate and will use it to store the link to the newly created item. For that, in its settings, I am selecting the Candidate tab. 
Let's keep the manually option for creating new app items. In this case, the HR specialist will receive a task to add a new candidate to the app. If we use the automatic option, there will be no task and the app item will be created automatically according to the settings in the Fields Values tab. The Candidate tab has a requisition field. If we want it to be filled in automatically, we have to set it up on the Fields Values tab. Now it is time to schedule the first interview. All the interviews are stored in an event type app. We want the HR specialist to select the appropriate time and add the interview to the calendar. To implement this logic, I will add another create app item element to the diagram. I will name it schedule first interview. Next, I will add a new variable for the interview and select the Interviews app in the settings. Keeping the Manually option for creating new items. I want certain fields of the interview to be filled in automatically. To configure that, I need to go to the Fields Values tab. Here, in the App Field column, I will add the Name field. In the Process Variable column, I will select the candidate's name to match it. Also, I will add the participants field and match it with the HR specialist process variable. Now, when a new interview is created, the HR specialist assigned to the requisition will be automatically added to the list of participants. Now, let's connect all the elements to define the sequence of execution. I am adding two outgoing connectors to the approved requisition task. Decline and Approve. Each one represents a button that the users will see on the task form. The names of the connectors are the labels on the buttons. To distinguish the buttons even more, let's use different colors. For the Decline connector, I will also add a confirmation. So, when a user clicks on this button, he or she will need to confirm the action. Confirmations are mostly used for important actions or those that cannot be undone. I can also change the order in which the buttons are shown on the task form. To do that, I will open the task settings, go to the connectors tab and drag the approved connector to the top of the list. Now, on the task form, it will be located first in the list of buttons from left to right. Let's save the changes. Now, after the requisition is declined and a notification is sent to the initiator, I will place an end event in order to end the process. So, now I want to assign a task to the HR specialist to add feedback to the candidate's page. I will add a task activity to the diagram, set up a template for the task name, and configure the form. I want the task form to have certain nested fields of the candidate – CV, full name, feedback from HR, and requisition. I will mark the fields for feedback as required and the rest of the fields as read-only. We don't want the task to be assigned before the interview actually starts, so we have to pause the process until then. To do that, we will use an intermediate event called timer. Since each interview has a specific time, we cannot just enter the exact time in the timer. We have to use a variable that will store the date and time of each interview. Let's add it to the process context. I will leave the rest of the settings unchanged. So, what I want is that the date and time of each interview 
is saved into this variable. In the task to schedule the first interview, the HR specialist enters the date and time of the meetings. This information is saved to the Interviews app. To pass this value to the process, we need to use the Assign Value element. Let's give it a name and match the values. In the left column, I have to select a variable that will receive values from the app. So, I will choose the interview time variable. In the values column that is on the right of the page, I will select the start date field from the interviews app. And save the changes. Now, let's connect all the elements. After the first interview, the HR specialist has to decide whether to reject the candidate or to continue the interview process. If the candidate isn't the right fit, the HR specialist has to notify them about it and then start looking for another candidate. For that, I will add a new task to the process diagram. I will then add a template for naming the task and set up the form. I am adding all the nested fields of the candidate property and making them read-only. For the assessment test and feedback from manager fields, I will also check the hide if empty option. At this step of the process, I want the HR specialist to be able to interrupt the search for the candidates. For example, if the requisition is no longer required. To do that, I will add an end event and a connector named Stop Search. Let's choose the color of the button and add the simple confirmation. If the candidate selection continues, the HR specialist must receive a task to send the candidate an assessment test. I will use another task and name it Send Assessment Test to Candidate. I will then set up a template for generating the name of the task. Now I will add all the necessary fields to my form and make them read-only. Let's add a connector going out of the Add Feedback to Candidates page task to the Send Assessment Test task. The name of the connector will be Continue Candidate Evaluation. After that, the HR specialist waits for the candidate to complete their assessment test. When ready, it has to be uploaded to the candidates page. So, I will need to add another task activity to the process diagram. I will add a template for the task name and set up the form. From the candidate property, I will select the requisition, full name and assessment test fields. The first two fields will be read-only, while the third one I will mark as required. Now, the hiring manager who created the requisition will have to check the assessment test and decide if the candidate is fit for the job. So, I will add a new task to the hiring manager's swim lane. So, I'm adding all the necessary fields to the task form and adding the connectors. So, in case the candidate sent the HR specialist a completed assessment test, I will need the Submit for Evaluation connector in order for the test to go to the hiring manager. Also, I will need the Decline connector in case the candidate fails to submit the test. I will also choose the color of the buttons. Then, 
for the decline connector, I will uncheck the validate task form option so that the system does not validate the required fields. This way, the process flow will go to the notify candidate about rejection task and after that to the task for adding a new candidate. So, the hiring manager checks the assessment test and decides if the candidate is the right fit for the job. If so, the candidate is invited to an interview with the hiring manager. To schedule this interview, I will add a create app item element to the HR specialist swim lane. In its settings, I will select the interview variable and keep the manually option for creating app items. Now on the fields values tab, I will match the name field with the candidate's name variable. Also I will match participants with the HR specialist. Now I need to add connectors going out of the check assessment test task and select the color for the buttons. I want to send the date and time of the second interview from the app to the process. For that, I will use another assign value activity. I will set it up just as I did earlier for the first interview. Now, let's add a timer. Here, I will use the interview time variable as the timer time. What I want to do now is for the HR specialist to receive a task to set up a second interview right after the timer goes off. So, I will add a new task to the HR specialist swim lane. I want the HR specialist to be able to leave a comment about how the interview went right on the page of the task. Since this comment can later be sent to the hiring manager, I will not be using the system comment field, but I will create a new one. It will be a string displayed as text, and I will name it comment from HR. Now I will save the settings. At this point in the process, the hiring manager has to make a decision about the candidate. If the manager decides to hire this candidate, the HR specialist will receive a task to inform the candidate and start onboarding. If the hiring manager decides against the candidate, the process flow should go to the Inform About Rejection task. After all that, the HR specialist goes back to reviewing the candidates. Let's add all the necessary connectors and publish the process. Since I created and modeled this process from the page of the Requisitions app, it is now associated with the app meaning that it is directly linked to the Save button on the page for creating new requisitions. So the hiring manager adds a new requisition, fills out the form and clicks Save. The business process starts. The first task to approve the requisition goes to the CEO.